then so second video review for this week is for Hayfield Manor by Jodie Clare if you want to check out my Goodreads review I did just post that the other day so if you are on YouTube there's a link in the description below and if you're on Facebook or on my blog then there is a link within the post and this is the video review so Hayfield Manor by Jodie Clare um, this was a great mystery so this is a new release from Jodie and um, it's about Lady Sophie Hay um, she isn't your average lady of the manor at all, which is what I thought she might be, but she really isn't. Um, and when strange goings on at the manor land Morgan um, on the case as a private investigator, uh, she kind of gets more than she bargained for. <laughs> and um, there is much mystery at Hayfield Manor. It's very elusive and um, that has Morgan kind of confused and suspicious to who may be involved in what she's investigating. Um, but the one thing she's kind of certain of is that the number one suspect, Sophie, isn't guilty. Um, but the more she looks into the case and and the more she gets to know Sophie, the less sure she is. And Morgan finds herself kind of swept away by Sophie and she finds she's having to make a choice as to either stay and trust Sophie or just walk away uh, because she has no idea what is happening to her. And um, it was such a thrill to read this mystery. Um, it literally had me hooked from the very beginning like I say Sophie Hay she was not what I was expecting Lady of the Manor I was expecting this age gap and this 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 refined woman and I expected her to be really cold and closed off and she kind of was but she was so different to what you would call an ice queen do you know what I mean she was just she was very different type of ice queen and um the very first chapter left me really really intrigued and Sophie, she was just someone mysterious and wonderful and I just couldn't help but wonder about her the whole way through the book and I think I was just as captivated as Morgan was in the end um, in in her and although she probably would be quite terrifying to meet and be in, in sort of around um, and she was obviously supposed to be quite terrifying um, it just made me love her all that much more. I just loved her so much more. Um, it made her really appealing and I could totally imagine how you would get swept away um, in all that she was and very easily swayed into trusting her, believing her and anything she said. Um, she was charming, she was charismatic and she had this air about her that you would be wary but you just would be compelled to be near her. Like you would be not attracted yeah attracted is the right word but you would be you would just feel this need to be around her I get that sense from her and um there's something very special about Sophie and I just had no idea what but I just knew there was and um when I was reading I just had to read on I really wanted to find out so I was totally hooked I really couldn't put this down and I just wanted to know everything I could about Sophie and I still feel like I don't know everything about Sophie so I'm hoping we'll find out more in the future because she's very mysterious and the mystery just surrounding Sophie in the whole manner it was just really clever and it threw in red herrings it had uncertainty and it just had things that didn't make sense until it all started kept coming together for like Morgan and all the bits were like all the puzzle pieces were coming together and there was no way you could have predicted or guessed all that was involved in this absolutely no way um you certainly get very drawn into the mystery with Sophie and, and her family as Morgan uncovered all the clues but you genuinely will not be able to work it out um when you find out you'll be like seriously that is so weird and it was on the edge of your seat reading like really on the edge of your seat reading and it was like a really clever part plot it was like fantastic mystery it just it just was woven in such a beautifully imaginative way and it created a beautifully imaginative story and only Jodie could create something like this only Jodie could do this and I adored the story and although we we got so much about Sophie in the story I, I ge genuinely have not had enough of her um, I still think there's so much more to learn about Sophie um, and I really hope that there will be more in future because I need to know more from her um, anything will do I love I just love her as a character I think she's really brilliant and I really can't recommend this enough it's great it will really get your mind working it will really keep you intrigued and it'll give you a great mystery to sort of run along with and the story's just brilliantly put together it offered a lot of adventure a lot of excitement a lot of thrills and it was just absolutely fantastic I adored it so much um so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Hayfield Manor by Jodie Clare which I hope you will um if you've read Hayfield Manor by Jodie Clare I would love to hear from you so please 
please get involved comment below let me know what you thought of the book um, if you haven't read it yet but it's on you to be read list you're planning to read it or you're now really interested in reading it um, again get in touch because it's always great to hear from you and what you're interested in reading and if you do read it I really 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 hope you enjoy it bye